I thought it was a fun show. Couple issues. The audio was a little wacky. They had a late start. Uh, I I thought it was a very well put together show. Some stuff I would have kept out because it was a long show, but overall it was it was good. What did you think? The pre-show um, didn't have any um, announcers for whatever reason. I think they were having audio issues, and that's that's what the holdup was. Um, and then. As far as the matches, I thought they all were really good, uh, well wrestled. My favorite, uh, I had a couple of them. Um, the Eddie Kingston Jay White match. Yeah, that was just an ugly, brutal, just pure beat, beat the heck out of each other match. I thought that was really good. Um, I love the story they told there with him leaving. Um, you with that stipulation that was set up on this show, by the way. Yes, it was. It was set up on Wrestling Observer uh, Live with Brian, where our other producer, John, was uh, messaging me throughout this. And, you know, John, he's here. And, and, I, and I absolutely love John. John is messaging me. He's like, hey, dude. He's like, um, what the hell's going on on the show? I'm like, you tell me you're producing it. He's like, I think I lost control of the show. <laughs> I was like, I think you did. Which led to a great, uh, a very good match between Eddie Kingston and Jay White. Uh, let's go down this card. Maybe you'll assist me with this. Kushida, Kevin yeah. Knight, and the DKC and Volador Jr. defeated Mascara Dorada, Josh Alexander, Adrian Quest, and Rocky Romero. Friend of the show, Rocky. Open, uh, strong open weight championship. Kenta defeated Fred Rosser. I thought this was a good match. Kenta looked good. It was. Fred Rosser looked good. Uh, Juice Robinson interfered by knocking out Rosser with a roll roll of quarters. Okay, this, and that and that was what the stipulation led to the beginning of the uh, Kingston J White match, where Bullet Club was not allowed ringside. Yeah, because that happened because so. of that. So mm -hmm. uh, the story continues. Strong open weight tag team championship. Motor City Machine Guns. Alex Shelley and Chris Saban defeated the West Coast Wrecking Crew to retain the titles in a loser leaves new Japan match. Eddie Kingston defeated Jay white. Now this was a great match top to bottom. Uh, Jay is leaving. We know that where he's going. We don't know. A lot of people think a W a lot of people think WWE. I know that WWE has interest in Jay white. They have had it for a long time. He's young. He's in Florida. He's a tremendous worker. And he could, he's only going to get better, but you know, I don't know if you guys saw that there was a statement uh, that came out, and I, f I forgot who published this, but the report was that, yeah, they're interested in Jay, but there's another much larger free agent available this year. Who the heck are they talking about? We'll find out. Uh, so, prior to the match, the Bullet Club was banned from the ringside. This was a brutal match. Kingston won by hitting two Northern Light drivers. After the match, now this is the angle. Jay White was getting a thank you, Jay Champ, by the audience. White's longtime rival, David Finley, slid in the ring and drilled him with a shillelagh, knocking him out. And that's how he exits the promotion in, in very Bullet Club style, right? Essentially, all of them have been laid out before they left. Filthy rules kind match. <laughs> it is a tradition. Our very own Tom Lawler defeated Homicide. This was a hardcore match with no ropes. I miss the, uh, I like the denim short shorts I, I, on Tom, though. Yeah. Tom needs to bring back yeah. the denim short shorts. <laughs> Tom, listen, I know he's listening. Bring back the denim short shorts. I thought this was cool. It was cool to see. It was. I mean, everything they could have done, they did. They got they got all the plunder out for this one. It yeah. was fun, though. Except maybe thumbtacks. I don't remember that. Mm. New Japan World TV Championship. Zack Sabre Jr. defeated Clark Connors to retain the title. This was a good match, too. Zack Sabre's putting on some size, which I like. <laughs> so here's the two main events. IWGP Women's Championship. Mercedes Monet defeated Kyrie to win the title. I think this was the best match on the card. Do you? Yeah, I do. I think it was the best work. I, I know the crowd was into it. Because I don't know if you noticed it, but I noticed the crowd wasn't coming through very well for most no, of the show. No, it wasn't. But I know but people that were second, at the show. Yeah. I know a yeah. lot of people at the show. And I was asking them. And they said, no, it was loud in here. Here's the other thing, yeah. you know, talking about the crowd, you know who was there? Bailey was there. Yep. Naomi CM, was there. Naomi was mm -hmm. there. CM Punk was there in the crowd. Our very own Dave Meltzer was there. With Garrett, right? With Garrett. Dave's arms look great, by the way. I don't know what that guy does. I was asking him, I'm like, what's your trick? He's like, 
He's like, he looked at me and he's like, I just lift weights all day, all day long. He just has dumbbells in his hand all day. That's how he writes the observer. He just pounds on the keyboard with the dumbbells. It's unbelievable, that man, the physique he's in. It, it's, it's actually, guys, I, if you've never met Dave, uh, you know, the, the photos do no justice. He's jacked to the gills. It's unbelievable. Love it. But Mercedes looked great in this match. Kyrie looked great in this match. This is this is really cool. This was very, very cool to see Mercedes in this. She's in her element. You know, she's she loves professional wrestling. She studies tapes. She was training with Hoovy for a little bit. Uh, you know, changing her her move set. You know, this is someone that really cares about her presentation and cares about her positioning and cares about the match quality, and it showed here. And this was a the very finish. good showing for her. Her finisher uh really, really looked better on this this time out yeah because really it wasn't it, it wasn't camera really angle wasn't this yeah yeah the camera angle was a little off on it but yeah it got the point across it was definitely <laughs> definitely a solid finisher it was a great match yeah it was a very good match uh and i'll go i'll go as far as to say that if it weren't for the next match who was in the next match it could have main evented but the i don't think we would put okada in um Tanahashi behind those two, but anybody else, you could make an argument for it. Yeah, I think you could have made an argument, but you, you know, unfortunately for for that match, IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, Okada versus Tanahashi, Okada retained. Uh, I don't think people thought that Tanahashi was beating him, but what a treat that is for the, for that crowd to see those two in a match. You know, they've had some legendary matches over the years, and and the people got to witness another one. Very good match. Uh. After the match, Okada in English said that he wants to reform his tag team with Tanahashi. Then Mercedes Money came back out and said she wants to tag with Okada. Then the two champions celebrated in the ring. Very cool shot. Very much enjoy this. Uh, now, now what does Mercedes do? Where does she go after this? You know, now she has think, that title. I think Dave said she has two dates um, scheduled in April. One at uh sumo hall uh on that show the new japan show and then right after that the um uh stardom she's gonna uh do a, one of the big stardom shows yeah but in, then what in april i i don't know maybe i don't know <laughs> you know I'm is sure this gonna do more is this gonna be the free agent that they're looking to sign you know it could be mm -hmm. it could be you know, you, you also, bring her in to put that title over and get some new eyeballs and, and bring, you know, subscribers to New Japan World. And, you know, New Japan is in a revamping stage right now. They had three the terrible room, years. They had three really, really bad years. They lost the Bucks. They lost the, uh, Omega. Things slowed down. They were still hanging on. Uh, injuries happened. The pandemic happened. And, you know, Japan is still not fully at 100% with the way that you engage with a live audience. So they have taken many, many steps back, and this is this was a shot in the arm for them. And a very so, positive move. So, not, to, uh, not to start yeah. any rumors, but yeah. uh, could Revolution is two weeks away. Could she somehow show up, uh, you know, she get could. involved in that one angle? She could, or she could go back to WWE you know. after this program, and this was a nice little excursion for her to go to New Japan and get it out of her system. Some people could see it that way. Not Fair. saying that that's what I've heard or anything close to that, but you know, you never know. Mm -hmm. It's all oh, I very know she interesting. Got the biggest pop. She got the biggest pop on that card, um, you know, for whatever reason. And they, they commentary. I thought Ian Riccoboni was really good putting her over, putting over the entire card and, and saying, Hey, she sold this out. She was, her match yeah. was the only one on this card when it was sold out. Given yeah. it's only like a twenty five hundred seat arena, 